Now a chance here for us again by Campbell into Dennis into Inyaki Williams who smashes it first time and he scored. Oh my god, what a goal from Inyaki Williams. That is unbelievable. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to Season 1, Episode number 16 of the Villarreal Career Mode Series. In today's episode, you guys will find out who wins La Liga, whether it'll be us or Real Madrid. If you guys do enjoy this series, drop a like on the video. 50 likes as usual is the goal for today and make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Also guys, this video will be done as a live commentary, so let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about live commentaries, whether you prefer it over post commentaries, let me know down in the comment section below for now guys let's have a look at the league table as you can see we are in second place after playing 33 games with 67 points that is not bad for Villarreal in first place are Real Madrid with 34 games played 72 points that means only five points separate our son we might have a chance of winning the league. I think we have a good chance right now, but we do have some tough games. In fact, our next three games are pretty difficult. Like we have Real Sociedad, we have Barcelona, and then we have Valencia. So if we get through th these three games with all wins, then we might have a chance of winning the league. So we'll be getting done with all our La Liga games in today's episode. And then in the next one, which will be the final episode of the series, we'll have that game against Atletico Madrid. For now, guys, let's get started off with our first game against Real Sociedad. It seems like due to fitness reasons I won't be able to field my strongest 11 for this game against Real Sociedad but it's still a strong team but Kambu still plays even though he isn't on full fitness. We have Leroy Sané, Castilejo up front. It's still a decent lineup. Hopefully it'll be enough to get us the win. Ah, Bruma with the interception. Bruma's been good and now we have a chance Castilejo. Back into Kovalenko. Come on Castilejo, get there first. That's a foul, that's a penalty. And we get the first chance to score in this game. In fact, our second opportunity doesn't really matter. It's a penalty. Gonna take this one with Bakambu. I'm going top left. Yeah, let's go top left. Come on. Yeah, great penalty from Bakambu there. 45 minutes. We make it 1-0. Good goal. Now to Leroy Sané. Come on. You got the pace, son. It's still Sané. Into Bakambu. That's a brilliant pass. And Bakambu, how's he not scored there? He should have taken the shot a bit earlier there. He probably would have scored then. Pina. Another counter maybe for us here. Kovalenko into Toliso. Oh, Toliso doesn't there. Let's play it back into Kovalenko. He's onside. Kovalenko should score this. He hasn't scored it. But then on the rebound, he's missed it. Oh my god, I thought he'd scored there. Wow, that was just ridiculous. How's he missed that? That is just awful from Kovalenko. We can't concede now. Surely we can't. Yes, good tackle there from Engels. And that's how the game comes to an end. A brilliant victory for us. Really important one as well if you have any chance of winning the league. We get all three points against Real Sociedad. And now let's have a look at the league table. Unfortunately guys, Real Madrid did win their game and that means they're still 5 points ahead of us. We do have a game in hand, but if they keep winning their games, they are going to win La Liga, which is not good. But still, second place is good, but I'm still going to try and win La Liga. We have this game against Barcelona, which is absolutely crucial for both us and Barcelona. So, if we can win, they probably won't finish in the top 4. So, well, that's I think good, but let's just get this game underway and hopefully let's beat Barcelona. Alright guys, this is the team I've decided to go with for this game against Barcelona. Bakambu is playing this one even though he played the last one. His fitness is low but still I think he should be able to get through this game. Musashio is hurt but I have to take the chance because I want to win this game against Barcelona. Gaspar as well, I can't play Rukavina because then Neymar will probably destroy him. So Mario Gaspar also plays even though he isn't in full fitness. But let's just get this game started. Come on guys, we can get the win. Goes away from Neymar. Come on Iñaki, put a cross in. That's a decent ball in, and Bakambu could have got there, but Bravo gets there first. Alright guys, the first half has come to an end, and Barcelona have been the better side, but it's been a very even game, I'd say. But Barcelona definitely looked the better side, and they've been kind of better than us, but hopefully in the second half, we'll be able to win the game. Here's Dennis Suarez, into Hesse. Hesse can turn his defender, probably, inside with the Berber spin. Hesse with the finesse shot, it goes with the outside third shot, and it goes into the back of the net in the 66th minute. We get the lead against Barcelona, a fantastic finish from Hesse outside of his boots. Fantastic goal in general, I mean that Berber spin was fantastic and the finish was great as well. Look at that, keeper had no chance, 1-0 to Villarreal, and guys, we might have a chance of winning the league. Hesse 7th in La Liga. Oh god guys, Lionel Messi has come on for Arda Turan. This is now going to be interesting. Let's see what Messi can do in the final 15 minutes of this game. Hopefully not much. Messi now on the ball. Plays it out wide into Neymar. Look at the space Barcelona have got here. 
Cross put in into Jordi Alba of all people and then uh, what's happening here? What's happening? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We have somehow cleared it. Messi with the final attempt. I couldn't even speak because it was so quick what happened there and the game has come to an end. What an ending to the game because I honestly thought we conceded there but then I think first it was... Was it Neymar who put the cross into Jordi Alba, then it hit the crossbar, then Suarez on the rebound, he came on for Cavani, took the shot, I sent him with the save, and then Messi finally with the shot, and Musashio I think cleared it on goal line, just ridiculous that game was, and well we do manage to win against Barcelona, and we're kind of closer to Real Madrid now, hopefully we will be able to win the league, let's have a look at the league table right now. So guys, after that game against Barcelona, it still looks like Real Madrid will win La Liga. They're still five points ahead of us, but we still have a game in hand. But I can't see us now winning the league because Real Madrid, just two games remaining for them. I'm pretty sure they will win it. But still, second place is pretty incredible for the team we had at the start of the season. And I kind of think it's a great achievement finishing second in La Liga. Because I honestly thought I'll finish like third or fourth, but second is pretty good. Barcelona somehow are now in the top four, even though they did lose to us. But that's good because I'm a Barca fan. But it doesn't really matter now. We're going to be facing Valencia. Let's see the top scorers list before we get into that game against Valencia. Balcambu with 12 goals there in ninth place, no, in eighth place. And Denis Suarez with 12 goals as well. Suarez has scored a lot of goals and is a contender for player of the season. In assists, again, we we have Dennis Suarez with 10 assists. I mean, you know, he's got double figures in both goals and assists. That is incredible here. But anyways, guys, now time to get into this game against Valencia. And hopefully, away from home here, we can get a win against them. Due to fitness issues, I'm forced to not play my best team for this game against Valencia. That past the game really has drained down the plays. Hence, I'm going with my second team. So hopefully, it'll be still an easy game for us. Not easy, I mean, I just hope we get the win in this one. Let's get into this game. Guys, we are playing this game at the Estadio Mastaya, the, you know, Valencia's home stadium. And uh, that's kind of my favorite stadium in this game. I've been using it a lot in Ultimate Team as well. Let me know in the comment section which is your favorite stadium on FIFA 16. Oh no, Valencia have a chance at Gomez, yeah? And Valencia literally tried to pass their way into our goal, but Perez's shot went just wide. Great chance there for Valencia nonetheless. Now it's Baptiste Tau back into Sane. This might be our chance, yeah? Come on. Come on, Sane. Put the cross in. That's a decent cross in. How's he missed that? Tolisso with the shot and Ryan with the save. I mean, Kovalenko, what's he doing there? He should have probably, you know, at least put a foot to it. And we probably would have scored there. Leroy Sané, we got to score if we still want to have a chance of winning the league. Great ball into Kovalenko. Can he get there first? Oh, Ryan gets there first. If Kovalenko had a bit more pace, we probably could have scored there. Guys, it looks like this game is going to end in a draw unless we can score right now. Kovalenko gets tackled by Sikera and that's it for this game. Really unfortunate we couldn't score and that is pretty much it for our La Liga campaign. I don't think we will be able to win La Liga now because I think Madrid will now have, you know, a 8-point lead over us. Of course, we do have a game in hand but still I can't see us winning the league. Let's anyways just have a look at the league table. So guys, 36 games done now. We have 4 points behind Real Madrid. And if Real Madrid lose both of the games, then only we might have a chance to win the league. But it's impossible now. And that's why I'm going to be simming the last two games. Because I can't really bother playing these two games. Because it's against Depo and Gijon. We probably will win both of these games. So we'll sim the next game. The one which you're going to play against Depo right now with my second team. Hopefully we will be able to get a win in this one. Let's see what happens. Yes, guys. We get a 3-0 win. A decent result, of course. Baptiste Tau, Tolisso and Rukavina. Kind of surprised that he scored, but yeah, 3 0 against Depo, not bad at all. Alright, guys, now I'm simming this game against Sporting Gijon with my first team. Hopefully, I will be able to win this one as well. It's away from home, so it could be a tricky one. I'm skipping it. Yeah, we get a 2 1 win. Bakambu with both the goals. Alan Halilovic did manage to get, you know, a consolation goal for them, but still doesn't really matter. A 2 1 win for Arsen. Let's now have a look at the league table. So guys, this is how the league table looks after 38 games in La Liga. We are just two points behind Real Madrid. We could have won the league, but still, it was very tight towards the end as well. And we had a chance to win the league, but we kind of bottled it against Valencia. If we would have got that win, it would have been really close. Our goal difference is the same as well, but in La Liga, it doesn't matter. I think my head-to-head -head record versus Real Madrid is kind of better than them. But this is how La Liga ends. I'm kind of happy, you know. 
not often would you just finish, you know, second in La Liga in your first season with a mid-table side, so that is incredible. We still have a chance to win some silverware against Atletico Madrid in the Copa del Rey final, which will be big. That will be up in the next episode. And of course, guys, now it's time to find out who our player of the episode is. Our player of the episode is none other than Jesse Rodriguez. He scored against Barcelona. A fantastic goal. That's the only game he played in the episode. Got an average rating of 8.4. He was fantastic in that game, you know, dribbling around a lot of plays, etc. And hence, he is our player of the episode. Now that that's done, guys, we get an additional 14.4 million to our transfer budget. Not that it matters now. Only an episode left of this series. But yeah, that is it for this episode as well. Really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, just drop a like on the video. And again, 50 likes as usual is the goal for today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. And I will see you guys soon for the final episode of this series.